Okay, so we were speaking about your um, um, your bot, right? So yeah, well, we call it a, a booster tool, just because you never know. <laughs> you never know what people say. The law has changed so much, I guess. Booster so yes, it's a trading tool. So uh, this is, is this the name of the tool? Is a booster? Or what? Renegade booster. Okay, but. I what does it mean booster booster for what boosting is like the original so the, the product was created by um philip and he actually called it the crypto booster mm -hmm. so a booster it's basically um just the the, the words bots I, i'm not sure about the legalities of all that these days like um it's just you got to be safe the way you say things. You can't say I'm selling signals. You call them scripts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's a war of words. And uh, also with all the communication I'm doing, I'm, and, and people, people sometimes get upset. I'm saying, okay, it's, it's very important what kind of words are you saying because you can think a certain uh, – you can think about things in a certain way but you need to be sure that your audience will uh, receive the information in the same way you are, you are sending it, right? Because you can say one thing and people could understand that, uh, I don't know, you are selling um, a new Binance or something like that. And they will buy yeah. it. Your volume's out. Volume? I mean, your volume is not that loud. Okay, it's, I had the same settings as before, anyway. All right. So, can you hear me better? I don't know. I can hear you. It's just not as loud as you were. I don't know if your mic was um, on mute. Okay. Like. Oh, it shows that everything is fine. All right, well, let's just go. You could always like edit that, I guess. No, it's uh, it's okay. It shows me that it's okay. Okay, so we are talking about uh, you have to be very careful what words are you using when you are talking about something. And um, I, I always want to be on the safe side. And as said before, I don't want to to transmit uh, the wrong information. Uh, I try to be as- It's a trading tool. Okay. You, it's a trading tool, right? And we, yes. uh, we are saying booster. So it's, it's, like, uh, it's like MT4, like the platform or not? It's something additional. Um, what was your question? So it's a trading tool that links to a Binance account and it helps yes. you- yes. Perfect. So you need to have an account. Binance, and you will link the trading tool to your Binance account, right? Yes, yes. Perfect. And then you'll have control over all the keys and all the um, the settings, and then it, it assists you in, in making some movements within your Binance account. And um, uh, it is also, I don't know, um, it's uh, automated or... Um, um, is uh, controlled. Um, so, how does it work? So, there is uh, there's some settings that you can set, and it will help you maintain the your position in the top market cap coins up to fifty. So you can select um, one to, to, to one, one to three, one to five. You know, meaning like you can set the top one all the way up to any amount past that. But it's all consistently like you can't have just the top ninth market cap coin. It's going to be like a bundle and it's very much reflective of an index fund so that it keeps you positioned within certain number of top market cap coins in market cap credential, uh, chronological order. If I think that's the right way to say it, it's exciting. It just helps you maintain the reason why it was created is because Philip, he's a developer. And, you know, back in 2017, he bought about 30 different coins and he got back to working and he looked up and then like the 30th, uh, the coin that was in the 30th market cap position 
went down to 175 and he thought, oh my gosh, you know what? Like I just basically have a, a not good, you know, the, the coin is, is not as uh, attractive right now. And, you know, in, in this space, it's really important that you have a market to sell to because we're here to make money at the end of the day, right? So it's important that when you are selecting a coin, that very important, there is a market to sell it to. So this keeps you in the top market cap coins. So it's more of a guarantee to some extent. You're gonna, when you need to take profit, there's gonna be someone there to buy it. If there's nowhere to, if no one's buying it, then you've got nothing. So that's the key is to keep yourself positioned in the top market cap coins. So there's always going to be a buyer's market. Um, how do you see the next year for crypto? I don't know. Which so a, a market? Oh, I'm sorry. What was the, the question? The vision about next year for the crypto market. I don't okay. Know. So with a market, will it takes usually three times the amount of time to go up as it did to go down. So you would say, um, let's say in the, in the last few months, we went from $220 billion down to 137, I think it is around today. So it just dropped about 20 and then, um, oh God, like, I guess that's, that's awful. <laughs> it's like 80, 80 billion. All right. But the, the good thing about that is it takes three times the amount of time to go back up. So we've got some time to get it together. Now, the, the fun part about this is that you can just ride the waves, okay? So if you just want to set it and forget it, you just set it and you got to know that it's going to take you probably, it, it could, it could take you. Um, and, and you know what, that, that stat is based on NASDAQ, okay? And based on, and, and the, in the stock market. This, this has defined all of those traditional historical records, okay? So if it does blow out of that particular situation, I'll be excited. Um, but in the traditional sense, in the stock world, if, if, this is, if, if crypto only is going to mimic the stock market, that's typical stock market, traditional uh, recapping place. So, but if it was to going to be reflected of the stock market, what we have coming to us is exciting. We have a lot of upward waves and down and up and down. So you could, those are very fun to profit off of. So that, that's important. It's, it, you know, people always said Bitcoin's going to have a vertical, which is straight up, which goes from like, say, market cap of, um, say, 120 billion, goes right up to 200 billion. Okay, so that, that's always a potential if there's some major trigger. Um, but at this point, I think that just to be very conservative, is that you know you just expect to be riding little waves and that's where technical trading skills are very advantageous and i highly recommend have them so that you can comprehend what's going on which goes back to the tool there's a tether option it's that stability option so if you are wave riding then you could take profit you know if you don't want to sit there and you don't want to watch your profits go down you could ride those waves the small waves profit hold it and wait till it goes down. If you want to be active or you have a choice, you could just buy your coins, hold them. And the one thing that this tool helps you with is it maintains that position that your money is always allocated to those top coins. And then there's other, uh, there's the, the equal ratio of how the money is uh, del like delineated or um, distributed within the, your portfolio. And then there's the weighted option. So one is equal. So if you have a thousand dollars, it's equally dispersed uh, numerical wise to all the coins that you've selected. If you select weighted, then the, the your portfolio money gets dispersed due to the uh, dominance of the market cap of that coin. So Bitcoin, if you look at the overall market cap, Bitcoin's holding 53%. So if you just select maybe the top 10 market cap coins, Typically, in comparison to those 10, Bitcoin is probably at 60% dominance. So in the weighted scenario, 60% of your money would go into the Bitcoin and then it would fall, you know, um, numerically according to the market caps. So again, if market cap starts dropping, then you are starting to sell off and you're accumulating the ones that are going up.
what I saw as a as a trend, of course, when uh, you can say crashes like this happened, there were articles about uh, mining farms uh, shutting down, things like that. Uh, I I personally believe that the um, the biggest danger for Bitcoin is that people move attention from it. And I'm using as an example what happened when uh, I don't know MySpace was the dominant social network. And Facebook appeared. Nobody could think then, even I believe at that moment Justin Timberlake put, uh, invested a lot of money in MySpace, nobody could believe that, I don't know, in the next uh, two, three years, all the people uh, were moving from uh, MySpace to Facebook. And for example, Facebook does a very good thing when they are seeing a new trend happening, they are buying the companies in that trend. This is what they did with WhatsApp. This is what they did with, with Instagram. And uh, so basically they are safe. Even if people will move from Facebook to somebody else, to something else, that something else will be owned by the Facebook group one way or the other. So I believe if people will move attention from Bitcoin to something else, then this could be because the attention of the people, once they are moving, they are moving. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think that there are, there's like, okay, the new YouTube is called BitTube. The new browser is Brave Browser, where you earn crypto coins using Brave Browser. The new search engine is not Google, it's called PreSearch. And you, and, and those are little, uh, what they are is in the members area under tutorials. So you can literally make money as you browse the internet through Brave Browser. You get basic attention coin. It's the little one like this. It's like a triangle. And it's actually being sold on Coinbase right now. And then, so it's, it's almost like I see the transition of the, mon the money disbursement is between you and I and the people. It's really a beautiful thing where we're getting paid for our data, for our usage. So you've got BitTube is replacing YouTube in the crypto land. You've got PreSearch replacing Google. You've got Brave that um cert that i guess it's a it's like a in comparison to google or safari or firefox the new one is brave so you have these you have you trust is taking the place of paypal on the blockchain uh car vehicle is going to take the place of uh, uh what do we have here carfax so it's beautiful and then you have dent mobile is taking the place and giving the power of the people to actually um you know sell their own unlimited data and then you have, um, and these are just coins within in, within crypto land that I've I've invested in, and I'm excited to have a little bit of um, of the piece of this pie. And then we have we just we, oh cellular um, solar power power ledger, and we have we power so that we could sell our solar power. So I, I see the the this crypto land and the the concept is really giving people a lot of alternative ways of producing income. And as far as like the space goes, yeah, I agree. Things are going to replace. And, and this whole way of doing business is, is going to change the way the world works. And I think that you're right. You know, Bitcoin doesn't have to be the only dominant. But when you take out all the miners, it's more of a scarcity, right? Um, and then it does allow, if you slow down the Bitcoin, it does allow another dominant coin to take into effect. Um, so, you know, and that's okay with the tool we have, if Bitcoin goes down in dominance, no big deal. You sell it off and buy the next one. You know, it, you don't really have to think about it. It's a no brainer. It just, that's the power of software. It just does it for you. The computer doesn't get emotional. Yes. The we software, do. The software doesn't care. No, the, the it's, uh, this, uh, you know, the universal language is numbers, you know, and then the computer system, they're just bears, balls to the walls, and numbers, and that's that. So, um, yeah, fundamental is, is great, and you feel light and fluffy, but at the end of the day, you need to look at that financial statement, and uh, is it profiting or not? It, when it comes to making money, at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, of course, I'll support my friends, and I would, I'm sure, invest in their, in their adventure just to support them emotionally, but, you know, we're here to make money, and, uh, and this is like, you know, retirements and so forth, so I, I believe that it's important to support people's programs, and I do 
those, those coins I mentioned, they're not high market cap coins, but I just love the, I love the projects. Like I'm, a, I'm a car girl. So I'm all about car vehicle. I want to cheer them on. So yeah, I will put some of my money in there just to support the project. Am I expecting to get major returns right away? Nope. That's my fundamental. Technical trading is where you can see a profit on a daily five minute basis, uh, an hour, or within like you can you can hold it for like a week or two weeks. Perfect. It's just how much you need and how fast. <laughs> I want to thank you very much for taking part of this uh, first uh, episode of the podcast of Good, the Bad and the Crypto. Thank yes. you very much, uh, uh, Susie Lewis, the Crypto Girl. I will put a link for the people to to check out your product and. Uh, of course, uh, I will uh, follow your journey on crypto because we are connecting on social media. Thank you very much. And all success. Thank you. Same with you. I want, I'm looking forward to seeing your cloud coin. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.